Be done. You know that's just gonna get dirty again. It'll get the original spots off. The original rain spots. Up in beautiful pine. Look at this. People that say Arizona is just a desert landscape. Look at this. Look at this. This is northern Arizona, by the way. Small town called Pine. And we're gonna do a cracker jack today, right? Yeah. Hopefully. We're try it. Hopefully, we're gonna try it. Like we do every. We have to find it. Uh, yeah, every like every thing we do, we try to find it, and then we can't find it. So, well, we got the Jeep today. My brother has joined us with his F-150. Got Amy sitting over here next to the Jeep. Getting ready, just getting gassed up. And then my sister brought the Bronco. Sport, Bronquito as I call it, because tiny Bronco. But we're gonna see how well that thing does today. What's up, Amy? All right, so here's the opening part of Cracker Jack. And this is pretty aggressive for a Bronquito. For a Bronquito. All right, you don't have to talk to me. You can just give me a hand signal since I can see you, but you can hear me if I talk to you like this. All right, come on forward, and then you're going to go this little rock right here in the middle one. You're going to split them. You come up to this rock and go to the right side of it. Come up on this rock and then immediately go this way. You're gonna catch this rock, there we go. So perfect. Are you in slippery? What motor are you in? Just ease on the throttle, it should catch itself. You might need a push. There, there it goes, goes. There, there it goes. goes, there it goes. Now right, careful right, of that right. rock. There you go. Straight. Straight all the way through this rock. Easy, easy. There you go. She's doing good, she's doing good. Okay, very careful, this is a big rock right here. Go passenger, stay on it. There you go, come forward. Okay, now here you're going to want to go this way. Slow. Now go passenger, you're going to climb up this rock. Or sorry, driver. Climb up this rock. Good job, good job. being the spotter. It's okay if I have a few scratches, no big deal. The paint's nice and thick.
Yeah. It's slippery right here. He might need to push. There he goes, there he goes. There you go. Oh god, how are we gonna get back out of this trail? Is there an end trail? It's a one-way trail, so we go out. Just watch this rock right here. This Just one's climb a steep up one. Over it. Sometimes the best option is to climb on the rock. Yeah! Not Boy, bad! Not, not bad! How'd <laughs> <laughs> that feel, man? That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, they're low? They need to be lower. They need to be lower. No, seriously. You I need know, to air them down. You need to air them down. Because the lower they get, the bigger footprint they have, which is more grip. Okay. So uh, we can air down now if you'd like. You don't have to air down very much, but let's go ahead and air you down. We'll be right back. Like Tyler was saying, if anything happens. Are we doing 20? Yeah. Here, All right. Yeah, How'd that feel? Watching, <laughs> watching your baby Bronquito come up the hill like that. I uh, was nervous, but uh, actually excited about the whole thing. So yeah, this looks uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Just to go show you guys, this is a new car. Oh, you don't have your. There it is, right there. 30, yeah. 30, 400 miles, thirty-five hundred miles. This is a brand, brand new Bronco Sport. So we're airing down the tires now. Give them a little comfy ride to kind of give you guys a understanding of how rocky that was. So, I don't mind the dead crow. He looks like he has uh, enjoyed the circle of life there. What's the temp, Tyler? Oh yeah, I have a guy to introduce you to Tyler. It's Tyler, this is my brother-in-law. What's up, guys? Real tall guy. He's he is he is much bigger than I. <laughs> Josh, taking care of my sister. Thank you, buddy. Well, the Jeep's doing great. Yeah, these are doing fine. Yeah, these are doing great. This, I have a feeling, is going to be an all-day trail. Uh, Bronquito is having issues, uh, mainly because ground clearance, you know? Okay, so there are limitations to the Bronquito, but we are going to make it happen. Because Tyler's a good driver. Allegedly. Allegedly, okay. We need to get you to curve right as you're coming up. So if you want to come back a little bit. You want get me to it. grab this rock or that one? I want you to grab this one uh, with your back tire. So what we're going to do is I'm going to need you to like curve around this rock with your frame. Don't like not literally, but I mean like hug that rock so that we can get your back on here. Oh, now you're going to go hard driver. He needs a camera so steadier, the one that goes on your shoulders. And it's a gravitational one, whatever it is. They're like a thousand dollars. No, no, they're, they're, they're the ones that look like a giant cage on you. you and you have the camera in front of you. Uh, one of my coworkers has one because he does a lot of media for the, for the police and stuff like that. Thousand dollars. Nailed it. There we are. Yeah, right there they are. Okay, so from here, there's this big rock right here in the middle. You can either. Hard driver, come up right through here and around, or you can just go straight through. It's actually easier that way. Oh, yeah. 
this rock here you can take right there you go now obviously you're gonna want to go left up here yeah oh my goodness <laughs> never My hips are gonna hurt. Get my ass in the seat. I was not sitting in the seat. I was like, kind of upright a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's gotta climb this. Is this what Alex was talking about? Hey, do we have? Do you have? Do you have four wheel drive or all wheel drive? Four by four. Okay. Hey, do you have low? He's on low. Hey, are you in low, Tyler? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead then. He should make it then, huh? Isn't this what going out trail riding is about? Yeah, yes, see, so the whole definitely. point the whole point is you build your rig and then you Go test, test it, it out. right? So while this isn't really testing for our rig, it's testing for yours, right, or hers, which is what the exciting part is. It's like, can we accept the challenge? Can you do the challenge and then overcome it? And this little Bronco Sport, for being a front-wheel drive, off-wheel, four-wheel drive focus, it's actually doing escape. more like an it's escape. doing really well. <laughs> it's the it's the 2022 Ford Renegade LR3. There you go. <laughs> you can turn the air off if you want. Cool three wheel action there, Tyler. So did they start? Do I need you for a second, Andy? I, I I'm gonna admit we we are impressed. We were not confident you were gonna make it up that. There you go. Uh, a little bit Perfect, yep. Oh, there you go. Are you gonna come up on this one? Perfect. Got it, you got it. You hear that poor little turbo? It's okay, it's, it's, they got his regular gas and not the premium. The big boys run the premium. Good job. It's doing fabulous. Now we're gonna start getting to the looser rocks. And there's Andy. There's Andy. It's exciting. So we're almost to the top of this hill. And <laughs> what's so funny? Maybe. Maybe. One hill. A hill, a singular hill. Watch. In a, a series of hills. In a series of hills. Bro, this is like but cool. the Bronco made it. Tyler did a good job. Everybody's impressed. Everybody's impressed. Uh, I impressed. knew it was going to make it, dude. It's just proper planning of the tires and a good driver. It'll make it. It'll make it. I've seen Hyundai Santa Fe's do worse. <laughs> yep. Okay, are we ready to move forward? Yeah, let's do it. I don't, I don't know if I did or not because you were kind of...
missed your front tire.
we did it. We did it, guys. Look at that. Oh, look at all that mud on there. We made it to the end of Cracker Jack. And, and somehow, this thing survived. It did. I actually am very impressed with the way it performed. And honestly, I think you're not allowed to wash it until you show it off. Well, I don't think I have an object because it's washing it right now. It's great. That's true. <laughs> oh, now the rain's coming down. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, big rock up. <laughs> so what about that freak rain show dude what the heck that came out of nowhere nice to wash all the dirt off the yeah now we got nothing to show for it we just went on this trail for six hours and it's all gone because it rained and all the wetness and then i had compressor failure so now i can't air up anybody's tires even my own so we are down to airing up over here i'm gonna move the bronco out of the way How was that? Would you do that again? That was fine. I think he needs to get he needs to get some stuff on the Bronco. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But it did it. <laughs> it did, surprisingly. So we're gonna air up here. Catch you in a minute. Well Alex, what do you think? How was that? I think that was pretty fun. Next time I think we uh I think we need to uh Get away from me a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ah! <laughs> no, for real, though. So, how'd you think of that? For, it, I mean, you, you haven't been off-road with me ever. Yeah. I've, been, I've, like I've never been off-road. Like I've so. never been off-road with you. I've, I've, done a, I've done a bit of off-road, but not with you, man. Yeah. I thought that was pretty fun, dude. I, like, I would like to uh, do that trail again when we have a little more time and we know where we're going. Well, now we know where we're going. Well, now we know where we're going. Yeah. It's, it it's typical of this channel not to know where the hell we're going. So, well, next time the Bronco comes out, we're gonna hopefully have a one and a half inch lift, so you guys don't have to wait, you know, three hours for me to <laughs> oh, rock. Yeah. No, it's Draw. not. It's not necessarily the lift. It's I was telling uh, Katie that you need like skid plates of some sort, so you can just give zero Fs and go. Yeah, put you armor know? and rock sliders. Yeah. And I was like, ah. Yeah. Uh, we're good. It's like that's man. Just grind over the rocks. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> right in my face. How was that? That was very nerve wracking, and um, I can't say it on camera. <laughs> I plead the fifth. But overall, I am very, very impressed, and I'm happy I bought this vehicle. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very happy. She so, needs some work as far as armor and ground yeah. clearance, but overall, from a four wheelers perspective it did i it did i i would say about a about a 60 percent out of 100 yeah. you know what i mean six, six out of ten six out of ten six out of ten one running the trail it had no business being up <laughs> yeah it it definitely needed more ground clearance for sure or just armor well yeah i think the armor for sure because then you could just go yeah send it send it are right, you ready? Are we missing Josh in there? Can we get all of us? Yeah, we're all on here now. <laughs> all right, here we Josh go. Josh kind of cut off though. <laughs> there, there we go. you will be cut off or whatever. Yeah. All right, so we made it. We finally made it through a trail all the way to the end. Cracker Jack trail. And honestly, it was a, so much of a blast. I think everybody had fun. Yes, yeah. it was awesome. Oh, yeah. And we'd do this trail again. So if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.